And now it is time for the big enchilada. It is the final award of the night, and it is the award for movie of the year. And we have an extra special guest. He's been called a visionary, a madman, a genius, a guy who paved the way for a lot of people like Plake, Schmidt, and Hatrib. It is Baron Von Stumpy, Greg Stump. <laughs> and if you haven't bought Legend of Oz, really I will let you know Stump <laughs> wants you to buy it. But it ended up being just a sensation. Over 20 years, people have been complimenting me on the perceived genius of pairing polar opposites, Glenn Blake and Scott Schmidt, with the Cheshire Cat, yeah, I just ate the canary, grin of my cat trip. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, if you haven't seen Legend of Oz, it's, it's sort of a history lesson on the ski films. It starts in the 1930s and goes through what we did with Blizzard and the launch of the extreme movement, and then through what you guys are doing today. And uh, it's pretty fun, Bliz uh, Legend of Oz. Um, this is wonderful, the 14th Annual Powder Magazine Awards. And I gotta tell you, I had the honor of hosting the very first Powder Magazine Awards, and uh, it's, a, it's a fun job, and we should give a big hand for Mr. Michael Powell. It's not easy what he does. Self-deprecating humor, making jokes about not getting laid. I mean, this is a real, he's, he's hung it out there for us. But it's true. One of the great things about doing that first Powder Magazine award show with Keith Carlson is that for the only time in my life, I was actually funny all night long. It was just like the gods of Go Big just sort of touched me. It didn't happen since, and it hadn't happened before, but the one night I was actually funny. So on that note, I thought we should tell you a little joke. All right, two whales are sitting at a bar. Two whales are sitting at a bar, right? Two whales are sitting at a bar, okay? And the one whale says to the other whale, <laughs> And the other whale says, Jerry, you're drunk, go home. A whale joke. Hey, you guys, it's unbelievable what you're doing today. When, when Blizzard of Oz came out, the marketing director at Solomon came up to me at the premiere and said, you've gone too far. This extreme thing will never work. It's, you know, you've gone too far. And look what you guys are doing today. It's just incredible. The cinematography, the athleticism, everything, the editing. I'm just blown away. So the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for the best movie of the year. MSP Films and Red Bull Media House. Now we're not looking here where everyone else is looking at some creative way to ski that. We're looking over here in an area that no one's ever even looked because you can't ski there. You know, we always kind of make heroes out of people. We envy them. We wish we could do it. But it was too, too great a sacrifice, too great a loss, too great a risk. Shane would regret dying in a huge, huge way. But he can't regret how he lived. Into the Mind, Sherpa Cinema. Sweetgrass Productions. I packed my bag and left Valhalla. 
returning to my home. My only home. The road. Supervention, Field Productions. Killing all your trees and family, living in your dreams and influence me. Leaving it to grow in your backyard, you're the one to blame, it's going to. Here we are, we are, here we are, we are, how we don't talk. so good how can there be one winner but i guess there has to be ladies and gentlemen the winner of the 14th annual powder magazine video awards of best movie of the year is from sweetgrass productions valhalla Later. i don't know what to do here i am not paid enough to stop these men right now they are all sans clothes gentlemen All right, I'll give you the mic. I guess it will have pubic hair on it when you're done, but I might as well hand it over. Ah, wow. I just, this project was all about having fun and, and being free and being wild, so I hope you guys have some fun in the ski world and, and enjoy riding on two planks this season. Uh, you know, I got to say thanks to a lot of people that made this possible. Uh, people like Patagonia, Backcountry, Dina Fit. I mean, there's so many folks that kicked ass for us to be able to be naked here in front of you guys. And I didn't even get a tan today or like trim or nothing. But I want to say thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so many thanks. There's so many awesome people in the room today. Um, some of us are from Salt Lake, so we want to thank our families who are out there right now. And uh, this, this film was all about, hi, Mom. <laughs> She's really proud of me right now. But yeah, thank you, everybody, and all the athletes, Cody, Sierra, Carl Fosfett. Thane Rich, Karsten Oliver, Sandra Hadley, everyone in the room tonight. I'll pass it along here. Usually when you're in this kind of circumstance, you're supposed to be like, oh, I'm so nervous and I'm shitting my pants. But uh, you guys could probably notice if I were doing that. So I'm not, <laughs> which is awesome. It's very liberating to be naked on stage. You guys should try it sometime. Uh, yeah, I, I cannot believe, I simply cannot believe the fact that we've won this award. It's like a lifelong dream, and it's, it's utterly, don't take me seriously, I'm naked, I'm done. I love you, Mom. Wow, that is about one of the weirdest things I've ever seen, except for last Friday night, which was pretty weird as well. <laughs> so a very nice acceptance speech there, bearing everything.